the vehicle. Being compact as well, and judging by demographics and weights, you should there shouldn't be a round in Pembroke. Uh, which is a very bold boast that will bulk out on plastics. 800 kgs, it doesn't look like it's capable of doing it, but because of the compaction system in the top deck, that's what we get. The only people that have uh, bulked out on plastic and cans were Bristol Waste, and that's how we know it can collect 800 kgs rammed. So, away from that, by the way, so yes. I see these quite so a lot. I haven't seen that. With the no, you won't have done that. Really uh, that came out in September for the RWM show, and it's been tested at St Helens, and it, it's been on a demo for three weeks here at Chester. Right there. Yeah. So that yeah, and the cardboard doors, and we found for accessibility, a lot of areas drivers were having to shut one or both doors to get down somewhere when it's tight. Yeah. Also, if they catch them. An old cardboard door was three and a half thousand pounds to replace. So to avoid people having massive part bills or having to spend anything, because this won't break down, that, and, and that's another bulb base, but they don't get 600 out in the UK, crash damage. For the same 40,000 pounds worth of part which is all we sold last year, we're not even going to do that this year. Crash damage aside, it was that door and that door. That's with the side swing as well, isn't it? Yeah. So, not so, so, yeah, so you haven't got that update. Okay. That, the overhang, it, it makes a massive difference when accessibility is an issue as well. So, we can't do food. We can't do food because of the latches and the catches, and if food gets stuck, yeah, it wouldn't be nice. So, we could do it, but I wouldn't advise it. So. So sorry, go on, Sarah. Okay. Carry on. <laughs> Actually, I was just this. Yeah. No, I just... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> looking for a job, man. <laughs> no, she got one yesterday. Really? Off John, yeah. And he was really glad to see the back of the current guy. <laughs> <laughs> what you don't know is I'm here as a loader. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> All of the truck can be opened and ejected and unloaded from the cab, <coughs> the driver's cab. So any transfer station won't be busy. There won't be people walking around. There won't be people by loading shovels, by forklifts. The driver presses the button, everything opens. Paper again can be loaded both sides. It ejects by way of a magic door, which lifts up, comes down, everything drops out, and the truck moves forward. So. Because of recent demos where we found food is shrinking in every single area. Oh, sorry, paper. paper is shrinking, yeah, in every single area, but food is increasing. This has now shrunk by 30%. <coughs> this has now extended by 30%. In old vehicles, the combined food you were collecting operation is one point three ton. Uh, so we don't find them. It's obviously going to be more than one point three ton, so you may want to do one point five, one so paper, we would guess we're never ever going to be asked to increase a paper pod. So we've just won a tender actually this morning for Torridge in Devon and they've just they've requested this, they exactly this. They can come close to filling it. Um, so which is good. With the food like I say, this is the new food bin. It's all beveled inside, so nothing can stick to it. The idea with the roll grip is it pulls into a transfer station. The food is dropped from the cab. This comes down onto caster wheels. It's then pulled away. You can have a still its version. How is it? People like Bristol that have 45, 48 of them, and a guy on the transfer station constantly doing that, both sides, twice a day, Bristol where you double tip, that's too much for the back. So they want the forklift truck to come straight onto the vehicle. We don't like that because the forklift truck will just be bashing it. It doesn't matter because over time we'll make it look tidy. This is dropped away. 
taken off, turned on the forward pick, to the hooker, and then pull back for as you go back round your transfer station. Yeah. As you come to the, the, the exit doors, they push back in, and away they go. This see, there's a magnet at the back of this. This clips back in, and then again, the driver presses the button, and it, it comes back up off the floor. The wheels go in and up to the top. So. Glass is this way because lots of people still do collect different colours, separate colours, because there's a, there, there is in certain areas, depending on what you're in it, money for separate streams. Um, two uh, catches, so if box is mixed and you need to sort and post, it can be down here and then you can post. If it's a complete box of glass, then you can tip from the bottom and away. We are the only manufacturer out of any of the Dennis Mercedes NTM that currently are under compliance levels set for the noise and glass reduction by the HSE. It was a report commissioned by RAF and WISH in association with the HSE. And we're regularly getting readings of 80, 81, sometimes 82, but the leading is 85. Some of the old curbside machines were horrifically high. We've actually, rather than patent the technology behind it, we've now released all the information um, to the HSE to pass on to other manufacturers, which uh, internally caused some issues because obviously Dennis Eagle was about. 150 times the size of Roman Cliff and they could have quite easily, with some R&D, uh, put, put some time into this. That, that's where we are and that's why we separate those two glasses. Also it helps with the, the weight alignments across the axles. So, um, batteries and textiles. Can we just ask you about that? Yes. Uh, I have a, uh, a large wheel. Suitable for a trade, yeah. Yeah, trade glass range as well, and it's, uh, so the work that's been done for you, the yeah. trade has been modelled separately to the household collection. So at the moment, service so actually happens to both households and trade their glass. Tomorrow and next week. Yes, I'll be doing it. 